Over the years, SpaceX has become synonymous with pioneering new trends and technologies in the space industry. Elon Musk's brilliant mind is always on the hunt for the greatest challenges and mysteries facing humanity, and his companies are always working on the solutions to those issues. So, why aren't we hearing anything about SpaceX's involvement in interstellar objects, which have quickly become one of the greatest mysteries in modern astronomy? Let's find out. On October 19th, 2017, human beings detected the first ever visitor from interstellar space, an object from outside our solar system. When astronomers using the University of Hawaii's PanSTARRS-1 telescope spotted that mysterious object dashing through our solar system, they immediately knew it was something special. Because of its high velocity and the fact that it originated from interstellar space, this object was originally thought to be an ancient comet. But observations revealed that it was actually an asteroid from another star system. Astronomers Astronomers were able to determine that the mysterious object looped around the Sun on September 9th and made its closest pass by Earth on October 14, 2017. This strange object was named Oumuamua, which is a Hawaiian word that can be translated to a messenger from afar arriving first, or scout for short. In a statement shortly after Oumuamua's discovery, Thomas Zerbuchin, Associate Administrator for NASA's Science Mission Directorate, said, For decades, we've theorized that such interstellar objects are out there, and now, for the first time, we have direct evidence that they exist. This history-making discovery is opening a new window to study the formation of solar systems beyond our own. When it was first observed, the alien object was about 21 million miles away from Earth, which is about 85 times as far away as the Moon. It definitely wasn't sitting still, either, moving at an alarming speed of about 85,700 miles per hour away from the Sun. Researchers then scrambled to get some good looks at the interstellar visitor, revealing it to be incredibly special. Teams from UCLA and the National Optical Astronomy Observatory captured images of Oumuamua Muamua using the 11.5-foot WIYN telescope on Kitt Peak in Arizona. These first images confirm that the object doesn't have a coma, which is the cloud of dust and gas that fizzes from a comet as it approaches the Sun. By definition, that would make Oumuamua an irregularly shaped asteroid. In a study published later in 2017, astronomers using the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope in Chile described the strange characteristics of Oumuamua. The VLT's FORS instrument was able to make very precise measurements of Oumuamua's brightness and color. By combining the VLT observations with those made by other telescopes, astronomers found out that Oumuamua's brightness varied by a factor of 10 as it spun on its axis every 7.3 hours. In the statement put out by the European Southern Observatory, astronomer Karen Meech of the Institute of Astronomy in Hawaii said, This unusually large variation in brightness means that the object is highly elongated about 10 times as long as it is wide, with a complex convoluted shape. We also found that it has a dark red color, similar to objects in the outer solar system, and confirmed that it is completely inert, without the faintest hint of dirt around it. No known asteroid or comet from our solar system varies so widely in brightness, with such a large ratio between length and width. The most elongated objects we've seen to date are no more than three times longer than they are wide. According to research, Researchers, Oumuamua is thought to be at least 1,300 feet long, rocky but with some metal mixed in, relatively dense and shaped like a cigar. Some researchers believe that it got its red color from being bombarded by high-energy cosmic rays for the millions of years it's been drifting through interstellar space. Astronomers estimate that interstellar objects similar to Oumuamua pass through the inner solar system at least once per year, but they are faint and hard to spot and so are often missed. It was only until we had very powerful survey telescopes such as PanSTARRS-1 that we could discover them. A study by the Initiative for Interstellar Studies claimed that roughly seven interstellar objects enter our solar system every year, and as a result, scientists have been working on missions to intercept them. Since Oumuamua, Various initiatives have sprung up to study interstellar objects, 
including the I4IS researchers Lyra project as well as studies by NASA and SpaceX. The I4IS researchers pointed out that Voyager 1, the fastest object humanity has ever built, only has a hyperbolic excess velocity of 16.6 kilometers per second. As Oumuamua is already leaving our solar system, any spacecraft launched in the future would need to chase it. In September 2020, NASA selected SpaceX to provide launch services for its interstellar mapping and acceleration probe, which includes four secondary payloads. IMAP will help researchers better understand the boundary of the heliosphere, a magnetic boundary surrounding our solar system. The mission is targeted to launch in October 2024 on a Falcon 9 full-thrust rocket from Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida. Now, all of that sounds great, but there's one problem. Oumuamua isn't waiting around for NASA and Elon to get their stuff in order. The interstellar asteroid is rapidly receding into deep space, which makes it increasingly difficult to observe using telescopes on Earth. This means that all the mysteries surrounding Oumuamua may remain unsolved unless we can send a spacecraft to intercept it. This is the goal of Project Lyra, the Initiative for Interstellar Studies mission. Adam Hibbard, a volunteer with the initiative and the one who built the software to design Project Lyra's trajectory, said, We know such a mission, at least in principle, is achievable. The possible scientific return would be tremendous and might fundamentally alter our understanding of our place in the universe. Oumuamua is currently moving away from the sun at nearly twice the speed of Voyager 1, the fastest spacecraft ever built. The asteroid travels about 500 million miles per year, equivalent to the average distance between Earth and Jupiter, which means that it will enter interstellar space sometime in the late 2030s. To catch up with Oumuamua, Project Lyra proposes launching a spacecraft on one of the world's most powerful rockets, either SpaceX's Falcon Heavy or NASA's proposed space launch system, and using gravity assists from Jupiter and the Sun to slingshot the craft toward the asteroid. This spacecraft would be fitted with a rocket booster that would fire off as it whips around the Sun to bring it up to speed. Now, Project Lyra's new proposal suggests launching the spacecraft as soon as 2030. It would intercept Oumuamua around 2049 when the asteroid is about five times further from the Sun than Pluto. Voyager 1, which has traveled deeper into interstellar space than any man-made object in history, has traveled 15 billion miles in 40 years. The spacecraft to be used for Project Lyra would have to travel 20 billion miles in half that time. Adam Hibbard said, Unfortunately, we can't just launch on any year we want. To make missions feasible using current technology, we are reliant on Jupiter taking up certain points in its 12-year orbit around the Sun, and so the opportunities follow an approximately 12-year cycle. Marshall Eubanks, a co-author of the new Project Lyra paper, sees this mission as a stepping stone towards more ambitious interstellar missions. For example, Breakthrough Starshot is an interstellar mission bankrolled by billionaire Yuri Milner that wants to use giant lasers to send a fleet of thumbnail-sized probes to our closest stellar neighbor, Alpha Centauri. According to Eubanks, an interstellar mission to pursue Oumuamua would be way easier than traveling to Alpha Centauri. Eubanks also acknowledged that the mission would still face a whole lot of challenges, including simply finding the cigar-shaped anomaly in the wilderness that is interstellar space. After four years and many, many theories, including the controversial extraterrestrial solar sail hypothesis, the astronomical community appeared to land on an explanation that satisfied all the observations. The nitrogen iceberg theory stated that Oumuamua is most likely debris from a Pluto-like planet in another solar system. But Professor Avi Loeb, who proposed the ET solar sail hypothesis alongside Amir Siraj, offered an official counter-argument to this theory. In their latest study titled The Mass Budget Necessary to Explain Oumuamua as a Nitrogen Iceberg, the duo argue that there is an extreme shortage of exoplutos in the galaxy to explain the detection of a nitrogen iceberg. In the paper where he explored the possibility, Loeb indicated that Oumuamua's unusual character and behavior were consistent with a solar sail. Its sudden acceleration and deviation from its expected orbit appeared to be the result of radiation pressure, which is precisely how solar sails achieve propulsion. And if you want to put on your tinfoil hat, there was also the way that it entered our solar system, which allowed it to make a flyby of Earth after passing close to our Sun. In other words, its orbital dynamics allowed it to get a close look at the only habitable planet in our solar system, which is precisely what one might expect of an interstellar probe. So, nearly four years after it showed up on our radars, Oumuamua is still largely a mystery. 
Could it be an interstellar asteroid, a nitrogen iceberg, or even a legit alien probe? Well, until Elon and NASA do something about it, your guess is as good as ours. Until next time, welcome to the future.